Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melissa Blevins and in today's video, I wanna talk about why most network marketers fail at their business. Now, what qualifies me to talk about multi-level marketing? Let me just share a little bit about my history with multi-level marketing. So when I was about 21, 22 years old, I was working in a bank, the very first bank I ever worked at. So my history is in banking and real estate. But while I was working in this bank, I wanted to find a way to supplement my income so that I could, you know, chase that dream of entrepreneurship, of making money from home. And I had a new baby and I was just super excited about the possibility of making some extra money. So I was approached by a Mary Kay consultant who offered me this dream and she drove a fancy pink Cadillac and I was all in. So she convinced me to go out and to get an unsecured loan at the bank that I worked at at 18% interest and purchase makeup as inventory for my business. So I did this again. She didn't twist my arm. She didn't like hold me down and force me to sign the paperwork. I did this on my own accord, so I'm not blaming her, but I was really young and naive. So that was my first experience with multi-level marketing was purchasing all this inventory, just going all in. And then a few months later, I ended up selling the inventory back to Mary Kay at 50% of what I paid for it. So I ended up having to pay off this loan on my own, didn't end up making hardly any money. Then fast forward several years later and my sister-in-law approached me about beach body coaching. Now I was, I had gained some weight. I was staying at home with the kids at this point. I had three children now and I, again, still had that drive and that want to make money from home. So I was determined that I was going to do this thing. So I'm going to share a link to the video about why I quit beach body coaching. If you care to watch that so that you can kind of see why I left the business and it wasn't really for me, but long story short, after about a year of coaching, I ended up just leaving the company unsatisfied. I hadn't made any money. I had everything that I had made. I'll take that back. Everything I had made, I'd reinvested back into the company. And I just thought that was like a flawed business model because I want to work for myself. I want to be an entrepreneur, but I don't want to spend everything that I make back on products and things like that to continue purchasing products, to continue feeding the beast, if you will. So I want to talk today about what most network marketers do wrong and what they should do instead. Now I've been sitting on this for about five years and I know what I did wrong and what I could have learned from. And I probably could have had a successful business if I would have done these things. So in order to help you understand what most beach body coaches and other network marketers do right and what they're doing wrong, I'm gonna share with you top beach body coach, Melanie Mitro's blog and YouTube channel. And we're gonna break down exactly what she does right and some areas that she could also improve upon going forward in her business. Now, Melanie is a multi-millionaire from her business. So she's obviously done a lot of stuff right. But the first thing I wanna talk about is what you're probably doing wrong. So the first thing that most multi-level marketers are doing wrong in their business is that they're focusing on deceptive marketing practices. More than likely, you know somebody or you have been approached by somebody or maybe you've done this in your own business. People are doing all these workout videos or all of these posts about positivity and accountability and working hard for yourself and accomplishing your goals, but they're being really deceptive and really, really sneaky and not sharing exactly what they're talking about. So this secretive behavior just kind of turns people off. I mean, I think that there's a reason that they're doing it. They're being secretive, they're hiding their true intentions and they're hiding what their business is. If it's a true business that is going to help someone that you truly believe in, why not put it out there from the very get-go? It's because people are turned off by the cold pitch. You might see on Instagram a person's account and it looks so perfect. It's so well put together. It's got these gorgeous photos. They're all the exact same filter and they're saying DM me for more details. Click the link in the bio for more details. Instead of just saying, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is how it's helped me. Now DM me for details. Now follow the link in my bio. 
instead of doing all of that, they're being really secretive and really deceptive about how they're doing it. Like they call themselves accountability coaches, but they're not saying flat out, I'm with Team Beachbody, I believe in these products, and I want you to see how awesome they are. Now, why does this type of marketing not work? Now, it might work for the short term and it might work for people who are not very smart, not very bright and don't see what you're doing. But for the majority of us, we're smarter than that. We can see through it and we know that it's just like yucky, sleazy snake oil way of selling products and services through the back door. We don't want that. So it turns people off. And when you send a cold message to someone you've never spoken to before, and ask them, you know, personal information or ask them to talk about their own health and fitness or, you know, I've noticed that you have positive posts. Would you be interested in losing weight? That just turns people off. It's just gross. It's not attractive. That is not a good way to try to get more business. So what should you do instead of doing all of those deceptive business practices for your multi-level marketing business. So we're gonna hop on the computer in just a minute, but I'm gonna start by saying that Melanie Mitro has truly built a brand. Her name means something to a lot of people. And she has branded her entire website and her entire business around herself, her faith, her family, her goals, all of that stuff. So if Melanie Mitro were to ever leave Beachbody or Beachbody were to go belly up, Melanie would still be making tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month because she's built a brand online. So let's hop to the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now here we are on Melanie Mitro's blog. And the first thing I'll do is break her site down and show you what she's done right. So when you start a blog, whether you're in network marketing or any other online business, whether you just want to talk about anything on a blog, you want to make sure that you have clear, easy to read fonts, dark fonts, and you have a consistent brand and look. So her site is super simple. It has her name. She's chosen her name as the domain name, which is the www.melaniemetro.com. Very smart because that is multi-brandable. She's building a brand with her name. So instead of Beachbody Coach Melanie, she has Melanie Metro. So if anything were to ever happen with Beachbody, she can just change some images, go through and make some adjustments on the site, and she still has a blog that is earning her an income. Now, let's look at the top here. You have two very clear call to actions. Join a support and accountability group and join the dream team. Now, you can clearly see that the one on the left is for you to sign up for Beachbody just to kind of get some support going forward on your health and fitness journey. The other one is join the dream team, which is the name of her Beachbody team and her downline. So that's two clear call to actions right at the top. Then we have a very easy to read menu, accountability, clean recipes, coaching, blog, podcast, downloadables, which I would call printables, but you know, that's small. Meet Melanie, events, shop, and subscribe. Okay, so those are all very clear. That's a pretty big menu, but it's clear. Now, what I would have liked for her to do is to bring down this image to where you can actually see what they're doing with their hands. I don't know if they're doing a triangle. I don't know if they're doing a heart. I would assume that they're doing a heart, but I really can't tell. Then you have a clear call to action right here to click and learn more about Melanie. What would be smarter right here is to have need support, click here for more information, and then go into her you know, support and account accountability group or whatever. Then you go down and, and she's talking about how the podcast is live and you can check out the podcast, that's fine. Now she has a free seven day time management course. Now this is more on the business side of things, I think. So this teaches Beachbody coaches how to manage their time as maybe stay at home moms, working moms, juggling Beachbody, whatever. It's a lot. And so I think that's really smart. And that would be one of my top suggestions is that if you are a network marketer and you don't have free content courses, printables, meal plans, things like that to give away where people have to opt in and give you their email address, 
then you're definitely failing yourself in your business. This is what a lot of Beachbody coaches and other multi-level marketing businesses fail to do. They don't give away content. They don't give something in turn for a relationship. So you can't just cold DM somebody, cold personal message someone on Facebook and say, hey, how are you? I haven't seen you in 25 years. Uh, your family looks great. Now, let me show you a, a little bit about what I'm doing because again, that turns people off. But if you have a blog or YouTube channel that offers true solutions to people's pain points, and for Beachbody coaches and other MLM people, time management is a major thing, especially in the pandemic with kids having to do homeschool and all sorts of other things. It's really important for you to manage your time. So this is very valuable. And how this works is you click register here and it takes you to her opt-in and she talks a little bit about what she offers with the opt-in and you subscribe. When you subscribe to her opt-in, you subscribe to her email list and then she can put you on a sequence to where she, her email automatically comes to you and she might send you the seven day course and at the end of the course, she might offer you an opportunity to get something else or to look more into the beach body opportunity. Maybe you aren't a beach body coach and you're just a mom who's struggling with your time management. And this is a great way for her to hook people and get them in to building a relationship with her. Now she's got plenty of call to actions. Like I said, she has these two up here. Then she's got to learn more about me. Check out the podcast. Here's my seven day course. And then you've got some of her top information here. Some of her top posts. Another meet Melanie. I don't know why you would need two of those, but, and then a spot for interested in coaching, learn more and some clean recipes. Now, this is something that I learned when I was going through her site is if I were to come down here to her footer and click on any of these, let's go to 21 day fix page, not found. So this should be redirecting to another product that is similar to the 21 day fix or maybe even just linking to an Amazon product using Amazon affiliate links. Let's 22 minute hardcore can't be found body beast can't be found. So a lot of these are broken links and that's just not a good user experience. If I were on this site looking for information, I would be totally annoyed that I'm trying to get information about all of these products and nothing is working. Now her social media is over here and I'm just going to click on her YouTube channel and go to her YouTube. Melanie did this right from the very beginning in that she started a YouTube channel a long time ago. So she has over 25,000 subscribers. You can see that right here. And she's got a lot of videos, a lot of videos. She finally started doing thumbnails on her videos, which are these images that get people to click. The thing that I can tell about her images is that you can't read what they say. They're really teeny tiny, really light and very thin. I can see cocktail hour, but everything is so tiny. So that's one thing that she has done wrong. Now, a lot of these are her Zoom chats with coaches and that's fine to share your Zoom chats, She's got the video and I'm not going to play it, but in her description, it's a teeny tiny description asking if you're curious about becoming a beach body coach and you can email questions to her email. What she should be doing here is putting a longer keyword rich description with her opt in link. So if she has her email provider through ConvertKit or through MailChimp or whoever it's through, they should be able to create a landing page and you can click that landing page link and then put in your email for another freebie. She could offer her freebies in her videos. Okay, so here's an example of what she's doing right. Now these are videos, this is a series it looks like, before you launch your biz. And she's got Instagram stories, storytelling over selling, identifying your ideal client, creating a clear why. Now I would like for this to be separated into a playlist with step-by-step -step and list it. Step one, step two, step three, step four, video one, video two, video three, video four, breaking down exactly what you need to do to grow your business. 
So there's opportunities here for her rather than just putting a bunch of videos out there and seeing what sticks, it would be smarter for her to create actual playlists and a roadmap to success, basically sharing what she has done and what others can do and how others on her team have been successful. Looks like she has a coffee talk business tip Tuesday where she shares business tips. And that was a year ago, but she's not getting very many views on these videos either. And so I really think that she has an opportunity to grow the YouTube even more. Now with 25,000 subscribers, Melanie has the opportunity and probably is earning an ad revenue on her YouTube channel, but she could grow it so much more if she just honed in on it and really worked hard to be intentional rather than just, again, throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. So you can see her top keywords that she's ranking for in YouTube are Melanie Mitro, her name, top coach and beach body, which sucks because you think as a top beach body coach, she would be ranking for things like clean eating challenge, how to lose weight, two week fitness challenge, um, Shakeology recipes, different things like that, that are very specific that people are going to be searching for. But her top ranking terms are her name and beach body coach, top beach body coach. So it's very self centered. It's very self centric, which is cool. That's great. She's done a great job, but it needs to be more about the client, more about the customer and the coaches on her team. Here's how this works creating a blog, creating a YouTube channel giving away free content that offers value, support, encourages other people to reach their goals. That is going to grow a business far more than deceptive marketing practices, hiding behind a computer screen, never showing your face and never offering any true sort of support and encouragement. A lot of MLMs are just signing up coaches to be up under them or signing up for challenge groups, doing the challenge and being done never offering true support and encouragement and helping others. So the people who are looking for these terms that you're ranking for in Google and in YouTube are coming across information that actually interests them. Maybe they've been on YouTube or they've been on Google and they've been looking for clean recipes or losing the quarantine fat and your video or your blog post pops up and they get there and they're truly engaged and interested because that's what they're looking for. It's not a cold DM. It's not a cold contact. So you have a far better chance of growing your business by doing it this way versus the cold invites, the sending the messages, doing everything that basically Beachbody was telling us to do five years ago. So here's my call to action. I want you to start your blog and your YouTube channel. It costs very little to start a blog and nothing to start a YouTube channel. You can literally start using your phone. So create the YouTube channel, create the blog and get started. Guys, if you sign up for Bluehost for your blog through my special link in the description, I will send you my back end of my blog and how I do my keyword research so that I can rank on Google and on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do offer the sober truth about money, blogging, and business. You made it to the end, so you must be interested in making some money from home. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.